I'm Christina Aristudo, and I'm part of the Rise Together initiative. That's a nine-county effort to reduce poverty by half in 10 years in the San Francisco Bay Area. Well, we've been following the collective impact approach since 2010, 2011 is when we had started having our large community meetings. I think it's the greatest framework that I've ever seen for both grounding us with the rigor and setting us free to uh, uh, create and bring people together organically and authentically. I think um, we educate, we get uh, commitment, and the processes that we follow through Collective Impact um, ground us in the work that we're doing and help us achieve something meaningful. You know, people stay committed because they believe in the process. Typically in our community, we come together, we decide that we will, you know, uh, collaborate, which usually means doing the thing we always do, maybe in the same room. And with collective action and collective impact processes, we learn to blend and bond around what we do so that, so that the thing we do isn't as important as the outcome we're trying to achieve. So it's a focus us on those core goals and the places where we can all agree and have common ground. We've formed work groups, we have meaningful goals, we have specific outcomes we're working on, we have people committed and engaged, and we have built a public will so that um, the policymakers in our community are excited and supportive of the work we're doing. So I see a lot of progress. Collective Impact has the room for us to grow and evolve. And so we're working on a long-term goal, which is cutting poverty in half in 10 years. So I'll actually be gone by the time we get to our 10 years. But I don't think that um, the most important uh, goals we develop ever end. We simply make progress. And Collective Impact allows us to celebrate that progress as we, and then see uh, uh, where we are later on down the road.